Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make my 100% safe lava bin version 2. So, if you saw the first version of this bin, um, you would have only, you would have noticed that it only worked in single player, and this is because of the laggy piston. So, if I stood here and then stood there in an SMP world, you would lag out and then you'd fall into the lava. But now I have come up with a fix for this problem and it will now work in single player and multiplayer now and also it will give you a more compact design than this. Um, it's about half, or it's about a third of the size of this one. So what I'm going to be doing now is showing you how to build it. So what you are going to need is seven redstone, two redstone torches, two levers, two redstone lamps, two sticky pistons, one bucket of lava, three stair blocks of your choice, I've got a cobblestone, and 64 block of your choice. So the first thing that we do is get out your block of your choice and create a 5 by 3 high wall. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we're going to make that 3 high. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. And now it's a 5 by 3 high wall. Now at the ends of the middle row here, you want to put place two levers at the ends and then right of this one you want to dig the, that block out and then left of this one you want to dig that block out and inside these holes you want to place the red stain lamps these will just indicate whether the levers are on or off now for the sticky pistons you want to go to this middle column here and this block straight under you here you want to dig it out and then the block straight in front of you you want to dig that one out now I'm going to place this sticker piston behind the wall and then replace your original block that you just dig out. Now I'm going to dig down two blocks and then dig the block in front of you twice and then place the second sticky piston there and then place your original block back there. Now you're going to go back up to and then you want to go back inside of it. You want to dig out the block left of you, the block right of you and then the block behind you and you want to place stairs facing into you, make sure they're not upside down either. That should be pretty straightforward though. Now you want to dig out those two blocks that you just um, used to get back up and then place a lava bucket at the bottom and you'll see that my original block um, for that sticky, sticky piston is above the lava and it won't affect it, like it won't push it into the lava and get rid of it. Now we're going to go into the redstone, so you're going to go around the back and then left of the sticky piston you'll place two blocks coming out that way and you'll do that same for the right of it on top you want to place two redstone like that and then two redstone on the other side now left of the sticky piston and right of it you want to place a torch there and there now you want to dig out this block under the redstone lamp and then do that across to get to the other redstone torch, not lamp, torch. And then in the hole you just want to fill the remaining redstone up. Now that is the final product of my version 2 of the final bin. I'll give you a little demonstration here. So I'll just get rid of all the items that I've got in my inventory right now from the tutorial. Um, this will now work in single player and multiplayer. I've tested it, it's actually on my fan server. Um, so if you flick that down, um, the difference between the um, old version and this one is it actually first pushes you out. It doesn't, um, you don't have to flick both levers for that to come out and then that one. This one, or either one, pushes this block out and then when you hit the other one, it pulls that back in and puts everything out there so you cannot even fall in SMP so if I tried to purposely go in here if I flick that I'll get pushed out but that thing there doesn't open and that's the problem that was in the other version you could actually fall down there so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial please remember to leave a like because I do put a lot of effort into these and thinking about them um, so yeah remember to leave a like and I'll see you guys for another redstone tutorial leave some comments in the suggestions if you have any ideas for tutorials all right 
See you guys. Peace.